Well, the Prince George's Fire Department is joining other rescue workers from around the world in honor of International Fire EMS Safety Week. This year's focus is on the importance of creating a culture of safety. And joining us now is Captain James Duran with more on that. And did I say your name correctly? Yes, okay. you did say my name correctly. And the Prince George's County Fire EMS Department is participating in the uh, International Fire EMS Safety Week. And what that does is um, it allows us to change our focus of emergency operations and start looking at um, the firefighter safety and EMS. A lot of times we're so busy uh, learning about uh, emergency operations, we sometimes forget about our own safety. So this is a stand down safety event where we basically stand down all of our training and we focus it towards safety. So that's one of our most important goals. So we're actually breaking it down and we're looking at the uh, 16 firefighter life safety initiatives from the National Fallen, Fire, Fallen Firefighters Foundation. And we're having all of our personnel go through that uh, training and get them versed in making sure they know how to make themselves safe for International Fire EMS Week. So you're looking at safety as well, but you're also incorporating health. How, how does that work and why? Uh, health, that is very important because most over 50% of our line of duty deaths are cardiac related. So we want to intertwine that health that we always forget about in the firehouse is eating good, doing exercising, making sure our cardio is up, making sure we're having medical physicals. Um, and that becomes very important because when we acknowledge that 50% of our line of duty deaths um, in the country are related to cardiac uh, events, then we have to look at that as a focus of getting our health and safety on board. And that's why they've added the health and safety portion to the International Safety Week. How important is that when we look at the fire that just happened this morning, you know, the restaurant in Upper Marlboro, there were what, more than 50 firefighters, I understand, involved in that. How is the training important to know how to handle these type of things? The training is essential. Um, we we constantly train and make sure that we have a, a safe working environment. We have to do a lot of risk assessment and looking at the building itself and, and determining whether or not it's safe for us to go in um, to save that building. Um, so a lot of this training focuses on that, looks at the the portion that we never think about because we're we're constantly training about running lines into buildings and, and stuff like that. So. This looks at a different component and looks at our overall safety and health. But the work is, is very strenuous. I went through the fire academy in New York years ago, and even just pulling the hose, there's a certain technique because it's very strenuous. Going up the ladder takes a lot of effort. It's not an, not an easy job. Yes, it is a very strenuous job. It's one of the most strenuous jobs in, in, in the country. Uh, we have, that's why we have, it's very important for us to maintain our health and safety, um, and we, that we participate in this International Fire and EMS uh, Safety Week. Um, so we've also added a component, the, the focus of it is the change of culture. So the culture of the fire service, and we gotta look at everything that we do and make sure that we focus on safety. That becomes very important for us. We have about 30 seconds, but tell us how the community can get involved in this. Uh, the community can get involved. We also have a component that we also wanna look at the change of culture and our safety. And a lot of times we don't, we forget that the community itself can help us. If we have a, Heroes with, we have a program called Heroes Helping Heroes, um, uh, Neighbors Helping Neighbors, I'm sorry. And that's checking smoke alarms. So if the fire never happens or if you're out of the house before we get there, that alleviates some of the response responsibility. It makes it safer for us. And if we can eliminate the call on the front side before the call even happens, we don't even have to respond. So great so, advice, check on your neighbors. Yes. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, you so much. And the 2015 International Fire EMS Safety Week runs through June 20th.